Hi guys, I want to thank you for being on Unreliable Sources. Yeah, Gary, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, Kathy Lee and I looking. Kathy Lee and I. <laughs> I'm sorry, there are just there are just too many Lees here. He's Gary Lee, she's <laughs> Kelly Lee, and I'm Regis Lee. All right. Gary, maybe maybe after eight years of working together, he'll finally learn my name. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, I apologize. I might change my name to Kathy Lee. I might. Why not? But Gary, I want to know the origin of your name, Unreliable Sources. Why do you call yourself that? Uh, we try desperately to make sure that at no time do we ever say anything that's uh, reliable. Uh, and this way we can't be called on it. Years ago, I would go on a date when I was a young man and I would say to people, the women that I would go out with, hey, I'm a jerk and I'm not reliable. Six months later after we've been dating, she'd say, you're unreliable, you're a jerk. And I'd say, I told you up front. <laughs> Well, we do that around here, but we never called ourselves that. Yes, that's right. We try to pretend that we're reliable, but, <laughs> but really, we're not. we're not. No, not even a little bit reliable. Not even a little bit reliable. <laughs> we asked our viewers for some questions that if they had the chance, they could ask you guys. And we have a couple we want to throw at you. The first one is, would Kelly be willing to set a new world record by setting, set, uh, throwing pies at me? By, by, by throwing pies oh. at him. Yes, sure, Gary, She'd absolutely. I would love the opportunity to throw pies at you. Come on down, Gary. All I want to know, the viewers want to know, can I come on live and get pies thrown at me? Gilman, it's up Gilman, to you. Can Gilman, can we set that make up a decision right now. This guy's pinned you right against the wall. You, you're going <laughs> to turn... We can do it on tape. We can do it, we can definitely do it on tape, Gary. What has that got to do with it? <laughs> Why can't Gary be live with us? Gilman, Gilman wants the opportunity, Gilman, Gary, to, do it to every cut you week. out of the show. Ah. Oh. Gary, it's okay with us, but Gilman is a problem. What's your next question, Gary? All right, the next question, who is the one guest that over all the years has eluded coming on the show? Oh, oh there are a lot of them, Gary. A lot. <laughs> a lot of people have eluded that. Yes, huh? yeah. yes, many, many. Um, who's the number one person think, you would like to I talk to? I think Barbara Streisand. Yes, yes, yeah. Streisand, yeah. yeah. She's have, have you considered throwing pies at her? Oh, no, no, pies, Gary, that's just for you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, the Barbara next, Streisand is uh, an untouchable, one of those kind of right. guests. Mm -hmm. uh, the next viewer question was, who is the one guest that when you see them but they're booked, it makes you just cringe? There are some guests that use a lot of bad language, so we have to put them on tape because we can't trust them to not use bad language. Who, who is that? I'm not going to say. But, but you have to say, the question was, who is that guest? <laughs> I, no, I can't tell you. I could tell you, but then I'd have to throw pies at your face. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, since uh, you guys, between you, have just countless Emmys, Daytime Soap Awards, every kind of award known to man, what are the chances one of you loans me one of your awards to put on my mantle? If, if we ever win an Emmy, we'll give it to you. We, Regis is going to receive a Lifetime Achievement Emmy in lieu of all the other Emmys. That he could have won. Speaking but that of he being didn't eluded, win. the Emmy has eluded us for yes. a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but as soon as we win one, it's yours to keep on your mantle. I'll give you one of my Soap Digest awards if you want. Oh, oh my gosh, I would love a Soap Award. <laughs> it's pretty. It's shaped like a heart. It's lucite. It has my name on it. Oh, that's so cool. And I can put that on my mantle for. Oh, sure. This is perfect. I'll make sure to get you the address to send it. Okay, last question, because I know you guys are pushed for time. Who's on live next week? Oh, next week. Wait till you hear this. Oh, brace yourself, yeah. Gary. Harrison Ford, is that big enough for you there, uh, Gary Lee? What about Ke Ford. Kevin Spacey? Kevin Spacey's on our show. How about Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> what about Jonathan Reese Myers from that hot show, The Tudors? I don't know if any of the ladies in the house watch The Tudors. Yeah. It's a big, that's a big lineup we oh, got. Oh, it's big. Who else we got? Sarah Bareilles is going oh, to yeah. perform for us. Natasha Bedingfield yeah. is going to perform for us. Just, it's a really big week for us. Hey, and Gary, who you got following us on your show tonight? Absolutely no one. It's just me and the viewers. But I have Regis and Kelly. It gets no bigger than that for us. Hey, well, appreciate thank that, Gary. you. We feel very privileged. Anyway, congratulations on your spreading out now. You got 24 stations on the line there with you. We're, we're trying, and uh, one day we, we hope to uh, possibly have 25 or 6. We're going to remember the name, <laughs> Gary Lee Robbins. We'll never forget it. Unreliable source. We love it. Thanks, Gary. Bye, Thank Gary. you so much. Good luck to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.